Hello, everybody. This is the National Weather Service office in Jackson, Mississippi, with uh, an update concerning the winter weather situation. As of now, we still have a winter storm watch in effect for much of the uh, southern half of the area for the potential of elevated to significant travel impacts. And uh, we're still concerned that impacts may extend well beyond Tuesday uh, in areas that do actually get accumulating snowfall. Because of the cold temperatures, that uh, this any snow will cause problems in terms of travel uh, with uh, possible ice on the roads. Uh, looking ahead, uh, dangerous cold will continue. It uh, looks like at least through through Wednesday night. Um, then we should see some moderating temperatures as we get later into the week. Uh, but between now and Wednesday night, expect a very cold overnight low temperatures getting down to the teens with uh, wind chills getting down into the single digits at times. So this is our updated graphic concerning the, the snowfall potential. And we have trended that down just a little bit, uh, especially across the northern portions of the area. Based on the uh, latest model trends, uh, there's been a little bit of a southward push with those. And uh, we'll see how uh, things trend from here. Um, we're still 36 to 48 hours away from the, from the actual event. So uh, definitely continue to monitor as just uh, slight, uh, slight word, uh, adjustments can cause uh, some big differences in the, the amount of snow forecast. And uh, also, as I mentioned, uh, with the very cold temperatures, it won't take much snow to cause problems. The dangerous cold continues, as I mentioned. Uh, we have an elevated threat for dangerous cold continuing for, for much of this week, uh, at least through Wednesday night. So be prepared for uh, possible problems with uh, pipes and uh, frostbite and hypothermia as we go through the week. This is the current outline of our winter storm watch area, uh, roughly along and south of the Interstate 20 corridor, as you see here. Some of this uh, will be adjusted in the next uh, day or so. Um, we we're looking at possibly upgrading southern portions of this area to a winter storm warning as we go here in the next uh, 12 hours or so. It's possible that locations in the northern portion of the watch um, will be uh, issued, uh, winter weather advisory will be issued for those locations. Um, and there's certainly a possibility that we won't need any advisories or warnings for northern portions of the watch area. So definitely uh, monitor this as we go forward. This is some of our latest uh, winter storm severity index information. Uh, this shows the probabilities for getting at least minor impacts for locations along. Uh, it shows it along and south of I-20 where we have high probabilities for minor impacts due to the snow that's upcoming. And uh, the moderate impacts are generally uh, greatest along and south of the Highway 84 corridor. That in those areas, we're most confident that there could be hazardous travel conditions with uh, lesser prob probabilities as you go up to the uh, I-20 corridor. But once again, these uh, can definitely change in the next 36 to 48 hours, so uh, continue, to continue to monitor. Wind chill values look very low over the next few days, at least. Um, as I mentioned before, we could uh, definitely be seeing some single digit wind chills. And looking at this, you see some, some of our the cities in our area and how the uh, wind chills look uh, every six hours going forward through the next few days. Uh, lots of wind chill readings you see here that are forecasted to be in the teens to single digits. In terms of timing for the uh, snowfall, uh, it looks like things, uh, we could start seeing some light snow move in uh, prior to daybreak over western portions of our area especially. And then uh, the snow should uh, peak uh, in the morning and going into the early afternoon for most locations that do get snow. Um, in the Hattiesburg area, the uh, snow could extend uh, into the late afternoon to early evening. So just to summarize once again, uh, we do continue with a winter storm watch for Tuesday for uh, southern, the southern half of the area. 
for uh, potential elevated to significant travel impacts. In those areas, uh, we're expecting uh, roughly uh, one to two inches being possible uh, along the I-20 corridor to uh, amounts a little bit greater than that as you go further south with up to four inches of snow uh, possible uh, along the Highway 84 corridor. We're also looking at dangerous cold to definitely continue for the next few days. Um, it looks like at least through Wednesday night. The next uh, briefing is scheduled for uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, talking to you then.